Ed and Sue are headed out. It's going to be warm here in a couple days, so they're going to go find a spot in Flagstaff. There goes Sue. Donnie's going to be heading out with them as well. The rest of us will meet them later. Hey everyone, Asha here from Pandemonium. As you can see, the camp spot is clearing out. It is going to be 90 degrees tomorrow, so we're going to go ahead and head to Flagstaff because it's already warming up and that's what we were waiting for, was for Flagstaff to warm up. This has been an awesome visit here to Sedona. I'm definitely planning on coming back and I'm glad that I know about this spot because the views are amazing. I'm all packed up, just waiting on Chuck and Dory's going with me as well. We're gonna caravan to Flagstaff. Bruce and Jimmy are gonna stay here for one more day, I believe, and meet back up with us. Uh-oh, there's the moose. Hey, Moo Moo, you ready to go, honey? Yes. <laughs> yeet, 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 yeet. Okay, so Chuck was just checking the outside for <laughs> double checking. I checked everything, but thank you. Yep, I always double check and triple check. All right. <laughs> okay, right. you ready? So we've decided that we're... Uh-huh. By the time you get out there, I'll be in. Okay. Um, we've decided to take 89A because the views are just supposed to be a lot better than 17. It's just a scenic route. It is very steep and windy, so we're just going to take our time. And another thing, it's um, 49 miles from here to Flagstaff if we take that way. It's 79 miles if we, so that's 30 more miles. That's a big difference. So, yeah, that's the way we're going to go. Steep and windy. All right, Momo, we're ready to go. By a beautiful views of Sedona. It has been fun. But yeah, I'm glad it's starting to warm up because I was ready to go to Flagstaff. We've had so many adventures here. I didn't get to record every one of them, but it's still fun here. All right, onto this washboard road. Check my trailer. Everything looks good. Okay. Just waiting on Chuck to pull out. Okay, here he comes. I think we're ready. I always like travel day. Roll this window up. Just makes me feel happy <laughs> to be getting on the road and going somewhere else, seeing some new views. Cattle great. Uh, we have about three more miles until we're off this road. That was where my friend was camping to the left. She's gone now. Seems like it's filled up. That's a nice spot too. Pretty big. A lot of people in there. What do you think, Moo? Are you ready to get off this bouncy road? Or does it remind you of one of those old hotels that has the vibrating bed? And you don't even have to pay a quarter for it. <laughs> Alright, Moo Moo, no more vibrating bed. We're back on the pavement. <laughs> that reminds me when I was a wee youngin' that I stayed at a motel with my um, family when we were traveling. Feet, turn left onto Arizona 89A North. Will do. And they did have one of those quarter vibrating beds. <laughs> oh, memories. It's funny I didn't remember turn left that. Turn Arizona 89A North. Will do. I didn't remember that until just now. All right, back on 89A, heading north towards Flagstaff. Get to see these beautiful views. Everybody's behind me. Onward bound. Elevation 4,000.
definitely has the views. All around. Wow, so beautiful. Yes, the views are definitely all around. Look at the Red Rock Mountains. So much green in the valley. I do want to come and stay longer next time to Sedona because there are a lot, a lot of hiking trails. And it's just a beautiful area. But definitely want to do it when it's not so hot. It's not fun to be in 90 to 100 degree weather, especially in an RV or even hiking or doing any activity. It's not fun to do when it's that hot. It's been three years since I've been in this area, so it's kind of hazy a little bit. I don't remember it too well. I remember things like here and there, but I'm not sure if um, more buildings are here or how much it's grown. Adobe Jack, it's a trailhead. It looks pretty out there. So we're going down, down, down. But we are gonna have to climb up to 7,900 feet. That's what Flagstaff is. In a quarter mile, at the traffic circle, continue straight to stay on Arizona 89A North. Will do. You can also take 179, and that will cut across back over to 17. But, yeah, see, 179 to 17. We are going to keep on going straight. In 400 feet, at the traffic circle, take the second exit onto North State Route 89A. Will do.
Exit the traffic circle onto North State Route 89A. In a quarter mile, at the traffic circle, continue straight onto Arizona 89A North, North State Route 89A. I remember those roundabouts. They're popular. I do remember this part as well, coming into the upper part of Sedona. So to the left there, at the visitor center. So there was free parking. I'm not sure how big the parking is though. Welcome to the upper part of Sedona. This looks more old world or, or old town. A lot of small shops. I do like the roundabouts here. There's a heritage museum to the left. Sedona is such a pretty town. Still seems like it's pretty active and people are walking around. I don't know how much is actually open. a lot of shops and restaurants and stuff here. 15 miles an hour. I'll have to make a day trip up to Sedona one day. Just visit. It looks like a cool town to visit. Never taken the time opportunity to come visit. I think this is the last roundabout. This is out of Sedona. This is where I think it is a little tight and windy. Seems like they've been doing some construction. I remember stopping at this park here, to the right. It's the Oak Creek Canyon Recreation Area. Oh, no, that's 12 miles away. There's a park to the right, but they don't allow dogs, so we skipped it. Just 35 miles, which I'm going. So we'll just take our time. A little bit high, a little bit low. We're still a little bit young, but I'm all in. Oh, I thought they were broke down. She was sitting on the floor. There's a bridge coming up. Wow, look at that canyon there. I don't know if you can actually see it. It's beautiful. There's the bridge we have to cross. Camping and campfires only in four service areas. It's not too bad if you just take your time. Lee Bridge. <laughs> scary bridge, scary bridge. Oh, there's hiking down that. I think I remember stopping there. But we didn't do that. We went to Slide Rock Park, which is awesome. Yeah, definitely have to do more exploring in Sedona. But I can leave it for next time. Don't have to do everything all at once. We did a lot of exploring while we were here. It was very fun. 
Ah, look at all these vehicles. People are definitely staying active still here in Arizona. Get your sunshine. Ooh. This is it. The Grasshopper Point. It's a fee area. That's where we stopped, but yeah, they don't allow dogs and I decided I didn't want to go there because so actually I was traveling with Carrie and she had a dog as well. We both had dogs and they didn't allow dogs there. And to stay in the vehicle at all times. Mile marker 377. kind of scary to walk on this road. It's such a narrow road. There's not really a wide area to walk in. Not sure why you'd want to walk on this road anyways. There's so many trails or recreation areas here. To the right of us is a river. And there are pull-offs that you can stop at. That person's crazy. 135. It's the speed limit. But yeah, there are a lot of pull-offs, and you can actually... Now, there's the river there. You can go down to the river and hang out. We actually did. We had a picnic that we carried on. Then I think we went to Slide Park. Oak Creek Visitor Center. I think we had to stop there and get some information. Lucky is definitely handling this better than Panda did. But, I mean, considering Panda was an 89, it did do well. This is not even the steep part yet. See a lot of pull-offs. You can just walk down to the river and hang out. It seems pretty busy today. But it is Saturday and a weekend, so they're kind of sticking out there. That's dangerous. They were all crammed up in there. picnic area. It really is amazing here. If you ever get a chance to visit Sedona, you should. Wow, look at those steep cliffs. Elevation is 5,000, we're at mile marker 380. Ooh, biking on this road. It's got to be a little dangerous. Um, I'm going to need you to get out of the road. <laughs> yeah, see, there's a lot of pull-offs you can just pull off. And they're free. They're not paid. Yeah, definitely busy today. Oof. On the road. 
<laughs> Manzanita Campground. That area there is tent camping only. Probably be better to come on the weekday, not so busy. So Slide Rock State Park is a half a mile from here. Some of these people are just sticking out. And the pedestrians walking. So dangerous. So dangerous. Flash flood area next 10 miles. So here's the entrance for Slide Rock. If I can pull up that video, I'll put the link in the top corner. That is an amazing place to visit. And they're open. Surprise, they're open. Huh. Weird. This is Oak Creek that we're crossing over. And there's Slide Rock right down there. I don't know if you can see it. People are hanging out. Wow. I guess they're just keeping their distance. Slow down to 30 miles an hour here. Some of the cliffs. You want to be careful here. They kind of protrude out. Seems like they were going down to the river, not going through the entrance of Slide Rock. Seems like there's a couple paths that go down. It says halfway. I guess this is the halfway point. Yep, we got 17 miles to go. This is definitely worth the trip. It's slow going, I will say. It's all the windy roads, but just the scene itself is worth taking in. And it's nice that you can go slow on this road. See all the views. Junipine Resort. A lot of pine trees and cedars. As soon as I get to Flagstaff, I'm going to find three trees and hang up my two hammocks. Mountain Cafe, Market and Cafe. We have hand sanitizer. Passing over the holes wash. There are a lot of fee areas here. Just be aware if you decide to come here and visit. Even some of the trails are paid. We went out on trail yesterday and it was a um, paid area, but it was $5 for the whole vehicle, so not too bad. I guess some people just walk this road so they don't have to pay the fee. I, I think I'd rather do the fee area. If you're over 50 feet, it suggests you don't take this road. I 
big buses like Michelle and stuff, or huge class A's, diesel pushers. It's steep and very windy. Okay, we're coming to a 20 mile an hour curve. Pump horse wash, so we're crossing over. This curve reminds me of the Pacific Coast Highway. They had um, curves like that. 6,000 feet elevation. a 15 mile an hour curve. Yep, this is what I remember. A steep climb. But I think there's only three miles of this, and then um, we're on the ridge and it flattens out. Just a little up and down. Not too bad. I usually don't like climbing hills, but now that I have a newer RV, I don't mind it because the views really are beautiful. I love the views through a mountain pass. I watch for falling rocks because it does happen. Seems like the roads are pretty wide though. For the turns, they definitely give you plenty of room. Well, they have that mountainside all netted off, I guess for falling rocks. Scenic view one mile. I might just stop there. This is the part I don't particularly care for, is the, <laughs> the turns out when you're on the side of the cliff. That guardrail doesn't look like it would guard anything. But I'm sure it will. Oh darn, I was going to stop at the scenic view, but it looks like it's actually closed. Okay, so we won't be stopping there. I'll let this traffic get by. We didn't get to stop and see the scenic view, unfortunately, but there's a view of Mount Humphrey and the San Francisco Mountains. Alright, welcome back to Flagstaff, founded in 1882. Elevation here at this spot is 6,900 getting ready to get back on 17. There's the beautiful Mount Humphrey. I'm gonna take this first exit. Exit the traffic circle onto John Wesley Powell Boulevard. Will do. Turn left onto the I-17 north ramp.
Continue on I-17 North for two miles. Will do. We're going to be getting off on exit 340A, which is going to be 40 East. There's exit 339, which is Lake Berry Road and Mormon Lake that also leads up to Marshall Lake, one of my favorite places to camp if it's not too wet. Here's our exit, 340A. Use the right two lanes to take exit 340A. We're going 40 East just for a little bit. Continue on I-40 East for six miles. Winslow is 57 miles from here, Holbrook, 89 in Albuquerque, New Mexico is 320. We have about four miles till our exit. Here's our exit, exit 201. Take exit 201, then use the left two lanes to turn left onto US 180 West. To the left there is the Purina factory. And that thing stinks and stinks in the summer. Well, it stinks, period. It's so awful smelling. It's not pleasant at all. <laughs> We're turning on to 89 North. In a quarter mile, turn right onto East Marketplace Drive, West Railhead Avenue. Will do. This leads to Page, and you can also take this to the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon is 79 miles from here. That's the South Rim. The North Ram, I think, was 159. I'm gonna stop up at this grocery store and I'm gonna grab some water. Both of my five gallon drinking water jugs are empty, so I'm gonna fill those up before I go to camp. All right, well, we're here. Time to fill up on some water and then head to camp. Page is 127 miles away, Gray Mountain is 36. South rim of the Grand Canyon, 74, and north rim is 190. We are about six miles from our turn, just following 89A out of Flagstaff. Turn right onto Forest Service Road, 776. All right, we're here. This is the Cinder Hills entrance. Continue on Forest Service Road 776 for two miles. Well, do. It's a little bumpy here at the beginning, but it's, it's, that's about it. It's a little washboard. Usually not too bad. Last time I was here, I was with Terry and Scott, and also Ed and Sue were here. The family was here. There's quite a few of us here. This is an OHV area, which allows camping. A lot of the locals do come here in their off-road vehicles. But usually on the weekends. The weekdays aren't um, that bad. I'm glad to have my four-wheeler. Now I can actually explore myself, where the last time I had to ride with people if I wanted to explore. This is going to be awesome! They do have some kind of layman underneath the road. It looks like it's peeling up there. That's why it rarely gets muddy back here. Which is nice. A lot bumpier than it was last year. <laughs> Hello? Well, I'm glad you decided to stop having fun and your phone. Do what? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, I just got to Cinder Hills. I was just mentioning y'all in the video. Oh, you were? Yeah, we're just now getting to Cinder Hills. It's, be Aww. it's beautiful. Aww. It's like 70 here. I know. Aww. We miss y'all too. Are you recording? Of course I am. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they're glad to hear your voice. 
Yes, we will get a video out soon. We're working on it. Cinder, um, not, the the. Huh? The road into Cinder's a lot. Um, it, it's it's. You remember how nice it was last year? It's a little rougher going in this year. Yeah, nobody's probably out there maintaining it because everybody's you know locked up. Right, exactly. <laughs> no workers out there. Yeah. So everybody's safe and good there. Yeah. Um, everybody's made it to the camp. Uh, besides Jimmy, but he's going to be coming today, and Bruce, he's coming tomorrow. But everybody else oh, okay. should be here. Right. Hang on. Uh, this, well, this, this makes me miss y'all. I remember when I was here last, we were all here together. I yeah. know. We might be there soon. We're waiting to hear what our governor and everything is going to say. Cool. I, ho I hope just, he opens up the road. Yeah, we just want to, uh, well, you know, we can move around and stuff, but you're really supposed to stay home. Right. Yeah, I need to put new front tires on the truck, so we're doing that next Saturday. Oh, yeah. cool, cool. We, hey, Scotty. We call, it lock, we call it lockdown here, but it's really not lockdown. People go to the stores and stuff, you know, the grocery stores and stuff, but. There, it's just the essentials. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just trying to figure that all out. And hopefully we'll be back with you guys soon. We we'll miss you guys all horribly. Yeah, we miss y'all too. Yeah. Okay, well, why don't you call me when you get settled in there? I will. Or maybe call me when you work. Yeah, I will. Okay, love ya. Okay, love you too. Okay, bye, Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was awesome. I'm glad they called. Okay, so I am about a mile and a half away from camp. We camped back there last year in that first area, which was nice because uh, there were a lot of trees. Um, but Sue and Ed found a different spot. They say it's not as busy because this, this area here can get really busy with the OHVs. So... We're just going up a little bit further, and it'll be nice to be in a new spot. Zoom, zoom. There goes a four-wheeler now. <laughs> so we have less than half a mile, about a quarter of a mile before our turn. Dust, dusty roads. In 600 feet, turn right onto Forest Service Road 777. 777. Today is Saturday, so there's going to be a lot of activity as far as OHVs go. We were going to wait till Sunday, but I was just tired of Continue the on heat. Forest Service Road 777 for one mile. Will do. Some big toy haulers there, fifth wheels. Well, there's a lot of campers. Ooh. Okay, slow it down. <laughs> Hello? 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 Were you able to make it? Um, I'm at... The laundromat next to the first Walmart that you come into town at. Oh, uh, okay. We stopped and got some groceries and then um, stopped for gas. And now we're almost to the camp spot. I'm like half a mile away. Where, where'd, you, where'd you stop for groceries at? Oh, at Safeway because they have the water fill station there. Oh, at the Walmart? At the big super center? No, the Safeway. The, there's a Safeway on the way oh. to, um, to Cinder Hills. Oh, okay. And they've got a water thing there. Yes, they do. Two of Good them. Good know. Okay. Well, as soon as I get down with my clothes here, then I'll head over to Safeway. All right. Well, we'll Walmart, one or the other. Well, we'll see you when you get uh, here. We'll see you when you get here. All right. Save me a good spot now. <laughs> I think <laughs> I, I see him up ahead. Not, it seems like there's plenty of room. Not under, the, not under that big green bus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll All right. see you. 
Alright, bye. Bye. Okay, so camp is up here. Uh, gotta go pretty slow. It's definitely bumpy. Oh, I thought that was them. That's not them. So, oh, still got a half a mile to go. Alright. Holy cow! <laughs> tree down, tree down. Looks like it broke off. At least they cut it out of the road. It's definitely pretty busy back here. This side is busy, but when you look over here, there's no one. And all that black stuff on the ground, that's why they call it Cinder Hills. It's that black lava rock. You've arrived. Alright, we've made it here. It's kind of soft through here, so we've got to be careful. So they were going to put a marker out where to turn. I don't see anything. I think I'm just going... Oh, I don't know where I'm going to park, actually. Oh, I see a spot. I thought Sue was going to text you and say, call me when you're just about in here and I'll show you where to pull in. Uh -huh. Okay, so hang on a second. I just don't want you to go through the soft stuff. Donnie went through it and made it through, but it, and I, I don't go through that. I went through right here. You know what right. I mean? There's just one soft spot right there. So I was going to have you guys come in over there and come around and just look at your spots before you pull in. Come on, Mamanu. I'll say, good girl. <laughs> that was not graceful at all. Well, I think I'm going to do this area here because there's trees and my hammock can go out. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Oh, here comes some ATVs. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Hi. <laughs> oh, look, a little tree swing. <laughs> you can't ride that swing, Moo Moo. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Ready to fall? <laughs> you need a lot of faith in that skinny rope, boy. And that cut off um, limb. I know. <laughs> All right, I have some trees. It is on the main road, but I don't mind. It's only busy on the weekends. And I'll probably be out and about. Momo, you smelling our new camp? So this is where I'm parked right here. I got to get camp set up. Look, some homemade furniture. So Anirond what are these? Are Anirondack chairs? Yeah. Yep. Alright Moo, you ready to get camp set up? Or you ready to watch? Well, I was able to get camp set up, but not in the spot that I had chosen. A bunch of ATVs, or actually a group of ATVs came by and dusted my whole camp out. So I decided that probably wasn't the best place to be. So I moved further back and it is farther away from the road so I don't have that problem anymore and I was able to get my camp set up. It is pretty late and I've been editing all night so I'm just going to go to bed. I'll show you my camp in the next video so hopefully I'll see you then. Until then stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Bye for now. If we sail a little bit high, a little bit low, I need us to be a little bit high, a little bit low, completely.